Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some uh, stuffed chicken tenderloins. Uh, you can have the chicken breast if you want it, but I like to have in the, the little strips of the tenderloins be chicken because it's lovely and tender and it's not so thick like a chicken breast. What I have to do is first I'm going to season my breadcrumbs because I'm going to put them in breadcrumbs after. So I've got here two cups of breadcrumbs. I've got parsley. I'm going to add uh, a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese to it and I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it and some pepper and that's that is my breadcrumb and I'm going to add a bit of zest of lemon to it to give it a little bit of flavour just put some nice pepper on it I'm going to add some pepper to my chicken tenderloins also and have a nice pepper on it okay now I'm going to add some more, I'm going to add a bit of lemon zest to it. And that'll be all of my breadcrumbs seasoned. Okay. Now what I'm, I'm going to stuff them with a pesto. Now I've got here a rocket pesto. You can add any pesto that you like if you favour something else. This is something really nice, it's got a lovely taste to it. Try it, it's really, really nice. Now what I do is I open up the chicken tenderloin, open it up, and then I'm going to stuff them with the pesto. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of pesto in the middle of it, put it in the middle of it, and then you've got to put it together with a toothpick. And we have to bake them, okay? Just about a teaspoon of that lovely pesto in the middle of it. Do the same with all of them. And then I'm going to put them in the breadcrumbs and bake them. This rocker, rocket pesto is really, really nice. It's got a lovely flavour to it. So if you, if you haven't tried it, try it. So there, I'm going to... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together and I'm going to close it up with a toothpick. I'm going to close it up with a toothpick. Take your toothpicks out when they, they're cooked. Okay, just close it up with a toothpick. And that's another one done. Just do the same thing, just envelope it together, put it together with a toothpick. And it's got that lovely pesto stuffing inside, which gives it a lovely flavour. And there's something different. And you can do it with the chicken breast, but I like the chicken tenderloin because it's got lovely little strip pieces. They don't take too long to cook. Okay, so that is where I've stuffed them all up. I've done my breadcrumbs. Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to put some olive oil in my dish here. And I'm going to put them in olive oil and then put them in the breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to bake them, okay? So I'm just going to put them in the olive oil, like that. Put them in the breadcrumbs. Just nice breadcrumbs, put it generously. And then put them in a dish like that to bake, to bake them. That oil, that oil makes the breadcrumbs stick together really nice. Just to do it like that, the same thing over and again. And th these are really nice. They, they cook very quickly. The chicken breast is much thicker. I like this chicken tenderloin because it's just much, much quicker that to cook. So I've got all the parsley in this breadcrumbs, the cheese, and just put them all together like that and you can bake them all together. You can make as many as you want to because you can add the breadcrumbs to it, you can add the, your pesto to it, so there's no specific quantity. You can just add as much as you want to. Just put them there like that. And that I don't do them in egg and flour, I just do them in the oil and the breadcrumb sticks together really nice. It's got that lovely parsley, parsley through it and the breadcrumbs, just put it all together like that. Another one there. You can make as many as you want to because there's no, no set quantity of what you want. You can make as many as you want to. You've got plenty of breadcrumbs here. You can reuse your breadcrumbs if you've got some more. Just put them there like that. And put another one there. I'll just rub it in the oil so that the breadcrumb sticks to it really nice. You've got that parsley in there, the parmesan cheese, beautiful.
So what we do now is just put them all in the oven like that. And I'm going to sprinkle some, I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil on the top. I'll just take this away. I'm going to sprinkle, I've just got a baking dish here. I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil on the top of that, just like that. Just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to bake them. Bake them in about a hot oven, about 200 degrees for about 30, 30 to 40 minutes. Just bake them like that in an oven. And then what I did was make use of your oven while it's on. I, I did my use of my oven. What I did was I baked some potatoes. What I did with mine, this is what I did. I'll show you what I cooked. I cooked three just to show you. These are my the ones I cooked. Just, I just did three just to show you. I had in the breadcrumbs and I cooked them. And what I did was, while the oven was on, I just put some potatoes in the oven. It's, it's, while it's on, you may as well make use of it. You could either bake some pumpkin or some potatoes or sweet potatoes. And then I did my vegetables. I put, you could either have some lovely beans or some peas. And then, and that made a beautiful dinner. That made a beautiful dinner, just like that. Just bake that, they didn't take long to bake. And then you, while you make use of your oven, put some couple of potatoes in it, and you've got this beautiful chicken with the vegetables. Tenderloin chick stuff with the pesto. Look, it, it's lovely, the pesto. It's got a lovely flavour to it. I had never used the rocket one before, but I find that it's got a lovely flavour to it. But if you don't like that rocket, you can have the another pesto that you like. And I hope that you'll try them. They're very nice to make, very easy. They cook very easy. Just put them in like that in a baking dish and they'll, they'll cook with that lovely breadcrumb on the outside of it. And, and I've got, I made use of my oven, I did the potatoes and some, I bought, cooked some, some beans and I've got a beautiful plate there for dinner. I hope you'll enjoy them and try them. They are very, really nice with that pesto stuffing. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye.